Hello, Internet, and welcome to Game Nights, and uh, welcome back to a uh, very long overdue installment of Savvy Solves a Mystery. I'm Savvy, and uh, I'm here today to solve a mystery. I'm playing um, a game from one of my favorite series of games, uh, mostly from when I was a kid, but they have stuck with me for a very long time, uh, the Nancy Drew series of games and today we're gonna play secrets can kill uh which is actually the first nancy drew game ever which is awesome um this is the remastered version so you guys will be able to see we got a lot of stuff from other mysteries sitting around her desk um but yeah this is the remastered version that they re-released of the very first game um one that i somehow missed out on playing as a kid. So it's going to be a lot of fun um, for you guys to watch me struggle through this, probably. Uh, but I'll be paying attention to the chat and just hanging out and talking to you guys. And if you want to help me solve puzzles, great. If you want to watch me flounder, also great. Because um, either way, it's fun. So let us uh, begin. So I'm going to read our <coughs> case file. I also would like to apologize in advance for all the coughing and sneezing that's probably going to happen during this stream. I know it sounds bad, um, but my allergies are really, really bad down here in Florida, so please forgive me. All right, so secrets can kill. Um, our current assignment with Nancy today, a student named Jake Rogers was killed at the local high school last week. An undercover detective by the name of Beach asked Aunt Eloise if I could go undercover to investigate the murder. I'm posing as a new student to see what the other kids may know about Jake and his untimely end. So they weren't kidding in the title. Um, apparently, this particular children's game is about a murder. A very good place to start. Um, but we're going to start. and I'm going to let Nancy talk. Um... I'm gonna do, man, as much as I want to like be very prideful on the internet and say, I'm gonna do senior detective because I'm very good at these games. I'm not, so we're gonna do Dear Dad, senior detective. who would have dreamed <coughs> taking a vacation to visit Aunt Eloise in Florida would result in another case? Seems a student named Jake Rogers was murdered at the high school last week. And an undercover oh, at police school. detective wants me That's to as a student to search for oh, any no. leads at the school. So, it's undercover I go. I'm calling this case, Secrets Can Kill. Love, Nancy. Okay, so Nancy does just name her cases. Yeah, this is um, also happening in Florida, so this seems... This is good. This is good. Um, I didn't know that Nancy was the one that actually named the cases. I don't think that's a thing in the later games, but that's cool. Um... So I guess we're going to start. So we're visiting at Eloise in Florida. Hi, friends in chat. Uh, Nancy, I think, is... Nancy hovers somewhere between, like, 16 and 18, I think, in most of them. In some of them, she's a little bit older. Um, so she's masquerading as a high school student so i think she's probably around 16 in this one um i don't know where this one because this was the first game they made i know this wasn't the first book obviously um i think secrets of the old clock was the first book so we're i'm gonna i'm gonna guess around like 16 17 and just hope that it's not like a 30 year old nancy drew I'm reading what else is going on in the chat. How am I enjoying still buffering so far? I'm still very much enjoying still buffering. G, thank you for asking. Um, it's been really fun. I've been like binge listening to it, I guess. Um, it's pretty much what I do when I'm by myself. I just listen to podcasts. I've been listening to a lot of still buffering. I'm very much enjoying it. And I am very much uh, enjoying the Facebook page. It's a fun little group to be a part of. So let's see what Nancy's got going on. Um, I did post in the Still Buffering Facebook page about the scary stories to tell in the dark movie, which I thought was pretty, pretty fun. Let's see. Uh, Nancy, I had to close the school library early today. If you need to do any research for your case, the key to the library is in the safe. 
remember not to enter a wrong combination, but can you tell me the right combination, Aunt Eloise? Of course not. I'm a detective. Alright, so we're gonna have to find that safe combination. Um, gee, I just listened to or I'm listening to right now one of the Candle Nights episodes. It's whichever one they do like the 12 days of they do the 12 days of Christmas song, but with teen stuff. It's pretty funny. Okay, that's the front door. Wow. Aunt Eloise. Okay, I was wondering what- so the these games are really fun because Nancy is sort of like a time traveler, I guess, because in some of these, like in this one, she's got a cell phone, which is cool. Um, in some of them, she definitely doesn't, and like nobody has cell phones, and so like the time periods of these games shift a lot. Uh, but she's like perpetually 16 to 18, so I was gonna be like, oh, Aunt Eloise, you're decorating style, what era are we in? But clearly, <laughs> we're in like, we're in like the 90s at least, maybe the early 2000s. Okay. Oh, well, she can't talk to Jake. Uh, because he's dead. I'm already here. Wow. Good job on the to-do list. Auntie Eloise. Here's the TV. I need something to make this work. Yeah, it's a, it's a VCR, so we need a videotape, but that's not gonna help. Where is this safe she's talking about? Here's a book. <coughs> uh, it doesn't look like something I wanna read right now. Ooh, hidden clues are everywhere. There we go. More books. Ooh, uh -huh. aha! Tea lounge. I'm assuming that's for the teacher's lounge. I'm gonna sneak in there, definitely. What's in here? Stuff. Blankets. Okay, well that was a fun room that didn't help at all. Can't go in that door. Okay. Okay, here's a safe that I don't know the code to, and Aunt Eloise is like very into me not putting in the wrong code. Um, so, messy. It's not in my notes. Jake worked at the library. Right. So I've got a checklist. <coughs> she did That's leave me done. note. Uh... Look around at all these are Greek letters which may be the combination to her safe. Okay. Where would those be? Can I open those drawers? Yes. Oh. That's probably it. Sigma Phi Kappa Delta. Okay. I didn't know sororities could have more than three letters. That's cool. Oh my gosh. Is this phone? Ah, uh, this is my favorite thing um, about the games where Nancy has a cell phone, is that I don't have to, like, write stuff down. Because I can take pictures of it in the game. And keep them. So I don't have to try to remember that. Okay. I just saw them, but I already don't remember them. Is that what? Uh, um, I'm gonna have to. I might actually have to write these down. I'm so bad at remembering things visually, which is why I'm not actually very good at these games, but I like doing them. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. D. So, this one. Kappa. Alright, well, I didn't die, so. Our first puzzle. Is that supposed to be Nancy on the box? Like old Nancy Drew? I'm very bad at, it, at these kinds of puzzles. Let's see. That needs to go down. Right.
just put it in like this and it's like abstract art. All right, let's see what we got going on here. How can I get, can I get this guy, this out of here. Yeah, heck, a slider puzzle is right. I hate these things. Why would it do this to me? Like first, like first thing. It's like, forget you. Hold on, I'm starting to work. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a thing. Heck. Nope. <laughs> Hold, please. Uh, put that over there. <sighs> you guys are about to watch me do this for the next, like, three hours. Because... Good at these. That's not right. Okay, this needs to go. I need to get this on the bottom. Let's go. No, no, it's not gonna work. But we're getting, okay, we're getting close. I just got these two on the literal opposite side of the box from where they are now. Which I will find a way to do. Eventually. sure if I just keep going around. So this is literally the first puzzle of the game, but I might have to look up how to do it because I don't want this to take a million years. It's gotta go. Okay. That's gotta go there. I hate these things. So, so much. Um, well, the music went away. There it is. Okay. Hmm. And this is one of those things that, like, I feel like as a kid, I was like, Psh, yeah, these are so easy. Like... <laughs> Um, I do. 
I'm gonna look up how to do this one. I don't want to spend forever doing this. So, so far we're accomplishing a whole lot. seems right. It is really nice and peaceful. Hopefully this is important. Elise true. Password. Oh, wise elder. Is that a, um... What is the thing? I can't think of the word, you guys. Help me out in the chat. The thing where you take the letters and you rearrange them and it spells something else. Tom Marble or Riddle. I am Lord Voldemort. Is that- is that this? I can't take it with me? Okay. Somebody remember the password. Ooh. Can't open that. I'm gonna take this key, because that's what I came here for in the first place. Alright. Dunk. We did it. Did Check. That. Go to the high school. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Phone call. Nancy Drew, Detective Beach here. How are you? Hi, Detective Beach. Good, and yourself? Frustrated, Nancy. I need some leads, and you're my man. Uh, well, woman, teen, student, whatever. I'll be at Maxine's diner. Come see me when you found out anything. All contact should be through me. Can do. So what's our cover? Our what? Um, our cover. Who should I say you are if anyone sees us and asks? Oh, right. Uh, I'll be your uncle. Uncle Steve. I gotta go now. If you need anything this else, guy's a come bad see detective. me at <laughs> I'm wearing glasses and a green striped shirt. I don't think this guy's a very good detective, you guys. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, uh. So, let's go see Uncle Steve. Sure. An anagram. Thank you. That was gonna drive me wild for the rest of the day. All right. We're going to. Maxine's, before I talk to anybody, let me do a save file, just in case. Okay. This seems like a fun, uh, happening <laughs> diner. Okay. You guys see Steve anywhere? Well, he's not actually named Steve. Uncle Steve! Nancy! Why, I haven't seen you since, uh, uh for a long time. <laughs> How's your aunt? Aunt Eloise. He's bad. Oh, He's bad she's at this. Fine. He's bad and at Dad detective. Says hello. You're staying with your aunt, right? Yes. So, uh, Uncle what do you Steve. got? For me? Well, I was hoping you could debrief me on the investigation. Oh, sure, sure, sure. I'm just a bit well, my undercover <laughs> assignments are usually not so suburban. I understand. I don't understand. The victim was though. a senior named Jake Rogers. As usual, none of the family, teachers, or students know about any enemies he may have so had. So this guy has been undercover Nothing before. came up from searching his home, computer, cell phone, or locker. His bank records tell a different story. He had a fairly large savings account and a lot of cash deposits. We suspect he was involved in something shady. Drugs, gambling, or blackmail. That's where you fit okay. in. Talk to the students and see what you can find out. We think he might have kept information about his activities in a notebook or journal. So keep a lookout for anything like that. Anything else? I wonder why you think that. Oh, so he says his undercover assignments are not usually so suburban, then I want to know what that means. Bye, Uncle Steve. Specifically. Goodbye. Goodbye. Weird Uncle Steve. Okay. Talk Did to that. Detective Beach slash Uncle Steve. Gotta go to the library. Gotta go to the high school. I'm gonna talk to the diner guy while I'm here. 
Welcome to Maxine's. I'm Daryl Gray. I don't think I've seen you here before. My name's Nancy Drew. I just moved down here. This guy seems cool. Then you'll be attending Paseo Del Mar <laughs> High. I'm your student council president. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Thanks. I might just take you up on that offer. So... what can I do for you? Okay. Student council president. Tell me about Paseo Del Mar High. It's a great school. Good teachers, nice students, lots of after-school activities. It's just too bad what happened. What happened? One of the students was murdered in the school last week. What? Daryl! What happened? Someone beat up this guy, Jake Rogers, and then threw him down a flight of stairs. He worked here, but I didn't really know him. He kept mainly to himself. Yeah, so Nancy sort of hovers between like 16 and 18. And she's she's always that age. And she references like in the later games, like she'll reference the games and like the stories that came before the one that you're doing now. But not all of them happen in the same era. <laughs> I don't know. She's uh, she's the doctor, I think. But yeah, she's like, I think she's like supposed to be 16 in this one. Who did it? Who did Maybe it? he'll just tell me. <laughs> no one knows, and the police are keeping pretty clammed oh, up about it. I tried. But my resources say they're calling in some special detective. That's me. Maybe even the FBI. I'm the special detective. I am 16 and very good at this. Wow. wow. You must have some special contacts. How does this guy know that? <laughs> just special enough to see beautiful women like yourself. Okay. Bye, Daryl. We're not talking to Daryl anymore. I don't... Uh, gross, Daryl. Did this Jake guy have any enemies? Sure. Doesn't everyone? No. <laughs> no, I Darryl. should get back to work. Nice meeting you, Nancy. <laughs> that was a great awkward pause you just did. Bye. See you later. See ya. Uh, okay, we're not gonna talk to Daryl again, unless we have to. That was gross. So that's Aunt Eloise's, that's the diner. We're gonna go to the school and just pretend like Daryl doesn't exist. Oh, this is good. This is a good high school. The fighting manatees. I do like this. What does this say? <clears throat> this is like a fancy thing. Okay, we got some Da Vinci on that. Okay. Paseo Del Mar High School. Home of the fighting manatees. There's stuff on the floor. Okay. Basketball. Wow, look at all those trophies. They must be good at some sports. Looks like basketball. That also looks like basketball. The thrill of victory. Well, this is fun. Can I? There's like stuff all over the floor. Okay. <coughs> yeah, I, oh, look at the little. I wish I could zoom in on him. Look at the little manatee with boxing gloves. That's a very good manatee. What is this? Oh, the theater. Okay. Cool. Well, we'll have to we'll have to buy tickets for that. I don't think any of this is helping me. Let's go this way. Hmm. I would like to be able to pick up all the stuff that's on the floor. What's that? Oh, that's a place I'm gonna want to go later. For definitely sure. Can't go that way. Whoop! Did you guys see that? I found a quarter! I have two quarters now. <laughs> what a good game. Okay, there's the bathrooms, there's more stuff on the floor. Oh, there he is, look at that manatee. That's a, that's a good mascot, I'm a big fan of it. Can I click on anything here? They do seem to have lots of after school activities. <coughs> uh, okay, the annual picnic, that's good to know. Woodwinds and percussion, should wear full dress whites except for hats, okay. That doesn't apply to me, probably. I don't think I'm in the band. There's a person. Okay, here's here's a good shot of the tea. I like the fighting manatee. Look at him. What? 
Guys, there's quarters everywhere. Hi, I'm Connie. Hi, Connie. You're not from around here, are you? Wow, Connie. Usually, Paseo del Mar High is really quiet and boring. Lately, it's been totally out of control. I'm a big fan of these people who will just, like, say everything they're thinking. Is it that obvious I'm not from around it's here? A detective easy. I'm a school monitor, so I have to notice these things. Mm. You're very observant. Mm -hmm. We girls have to stick together. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of wolves. Have you met Daryl? <laughs> have you met Daryl? Daryl is terrible. Is what I want to ask her. What do you mean? You wouldn't want to waste your time with any of the guys at this school. Trust me. They're all a bunch of self-centered jerks. I like Connie so far. I think we're going to be friends. Unless she did a murder. And I'm going to be sad. All of the guys? There are a few who are cool. Jake Rogers was not one of them. I take wow. it Jake wasn't very popular. I avoided him whenever I could. Why is that? Jake was rude, dishonest, self-centered, and manipulative. Wow. I gotta go now. Later. Okay. <laughs> Sure. What <laughs> is this? Am I just out of touch? Is this how teenagers are nowadays? It's just raining quarters in the school. What am I gonna need all these quarters for? Oh, soda machine. Excellent. Okay. I'm not gonna buy soda right now. Just started my day. I don't need that much sugar. <clears throat> Can I go? What's up? Cool. These look like normal humans. I do like the April photo the most. <laughs> this is very good. And Mr. Magnifying Glass up here. Nerds. I love them. You guys see these quarters? This is wild. Okay. Can I go in here? Nancy, you can't go in there. Guess I can't go but in But I there. have a key. I don't care if you have a search warrant. You're not going in. Um. I guess Connie's the boss of me then. I don't understand this school. This is not how high school was when I was in it. I'm gonna look around in here then. There's another bulletin board. Okay. <clears throat> Tutoring. Math team. Seniors. All entries in art exhibit must be picked up. CL issue. Okay, so what oh what does that mean? Can I see that? Uh that seems like something I should know about. Just gonna take that. Because that's weird. Okay. Uh, can I go through these? Can I go through that? Oh, there's a person in here. Hello. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. What's your name? Hal Tanaka. Hi, Hal. Actually, my first name is much longer than that. But I want to fit in here in America. So I chose Hal as my nickname. That's I'm a, lot a of Japanese backstory, Hal. exchange student. Why do you think nice it's easier you. to have an American name? I want to be part of the culture and succeed in this country. There's a lot going on in this conversation, huh? So, what's been going on at school lately? A murder was committed here. Everyone is very stressed out. I bet. I heard about that. Some kid named Jake? Oh yeah, Jake Rogers was a dark soul. He created a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? Jake was an Ijimeko. In English, you would say a bully. He wasn't very popular. I'm behind in my studies and I must get back to the library. Bye, Nancy. Uh, bye, Hal. It was nice to meet you. Uh, bye. Oh, I saw a <laughs> Oh my gosh. A cat with shiny objects just running around the school picking up quarters. Uh, okay. Yeah, there was a lot going on in that conversation with Hal, but I hope we can become better friends once everybody just starts 
stops like <laughs> immediately kicking me out of co okay here's another one of these weird things <clears throat> this says something something a crane a crane contestant is that right in a masked disguise Uh, oh, won the prize money, despite all the lies. What? What kind of school is this? Who's putting this stuff on the bulletin boards? Maybe it's part of the art project thing. The art exhibit. Okay, back up, please. Um, yeah, how do I get Connie to go away so I can go in there? That's what I want to know. Figure it out. Uh, homecoming. Is it, was that gonna let me click on that? No. No. Just the. Just the one I just looked at. Now what is all this nonsense? <laughs> I'm taking pictures of everything. How many pictures? I can only have 30 pictures on this cell phone, so... Okay. Did I go the other- I didn't go the other way yet. <clears throat> oh, the gym and the library. Okay. Oh, look! It's Hal! Honor student of the month! Good job, Hal. No. Y'all are gonna have to help me figure out what all this nonsense is. I'm sure it all means something. It wouldn't let me click on it if it didn't. It's one thing I learned in this game. Man, the fighting manatee is such a good mascot. My high school mascot wasn't that original. We were the lions. Which is good. Except for the song we played at every pep rally was Welcome to the Jungle. You guys tell me. Because one... That's not where lions live. And two, I don't know if you guys have ever paid attention to the lyrics to Welcome to the Jungle. <laughs> not a thing you should be playing for children. Probably. It was weird. It's this way. Library, study, dome. Okay, well, I need to go to the library. But I want to see. Okay, bathrooms. Or locker rooms, maybe. Oh, there's something... Yes. Tryouts. Clubs. Oh, this one's upside down. And backwards, some of them. Oh my gosh. Hang on to all of these. Let's keep taking pictures of stuff. Water fountains. Oops. Okay. Oh, there's a large person over here. Whoa, a new girl at school. Do you realize what destiny has brought you today? Yours truly, Hector Sanchez. But you can just call me the Hulk. Can I call you I'm leaving now? Every guy in this place is terrible. I don't like this. The Hulk? You are new around here. I play for the <laughs> Nancy's manatees, like, I'm not buying one of the it. best teams in the state. I leave the others in the dirt, man. Soon it's college ball, and then the pros. Showtime. <laughs> oh, this is bad, you guys. What is wrong with... Oh no. I love. Who are the manatees? I wonder. One of the best. Okay, college. Let's do one of the best teams in the state. One of the best teams in the state? Hello. Paseo Del Mar High School has been Florida's <coughs> number one football team for the last four years. Very good. I've been trying to get the coach to change that lame mascot ever <gasps> since I first made the team. We can't be friends. Are you sure there's nothing to be afraid of? That sounds vaguely like a threat. I'm afraid you're asking too many questions. What's it to you? Sorry, so what's been going on at school? Somebody killed Jake Rogers. Do you know why he was killed? I'm sorry Jake's dead, but I can't waste my life worrying about it. Sorry, can't talk now. I gotta go to practice. Later. I <laughs> am... Mm. I don't like you very much. Oh, that one's oh look, more soda. Well, uh, I hate him the most, I think. I thought it was Daryl, but 
Nope, I, I think it's him. Let's try to find this library. Alright, let's see. Oh, here's the art exhibit. Hey! It's, it's that's 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 Nancy Drew. That's actually actually Nancy Drew. Okay, well that's weird. This is Is that also Nancy Drew? What is going on? I'm, these are probably just supposed to be like little easter eggs and not like big meta mysteries, but I would be freaking out if I was Nancy right now. Here's another... Grape, grape, orange, cool. We'll play the alarm in the school. What? It's a bad alarm code. Grape, grape, orange, cool. Sounds like one of those like old rhymes we would do as kids. You see what I'm talking about? Oh, library. Do I, have, do I have a key to the library? Yes. Okay. Wow! This is a nice library for this high school. I. I'm a little concerned by the music change. Only a little. Okay, what did I come in here to do? Oh gosh, there's so, so much stuff on my list all of a sudden. Talk to That's the students. Done. All right, did. So we've met everybody. Look around the library. Look in the teacher's lounge, right? Research the meaning of the kanji symbol Connie is wearing. Okay. Get Connie to leave. Uh, let's uh, find Jake's locker. Check out all the posters. Still have to do that. See what the students have to say about each other. So now can't check that off. We're yet. getting into the stuff that I want to hear. Okay, let's look around the library. This is a freaking nice high school library. This is a nice high school. <laughs> Although it seems very small. Okay, O desk. No. Let's start over here. What's these? Encyclopedia school. Hmm. Oh, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane. I'm a very good detective. All right, let's remember that. That's probably important. Cranes are somehow important to Connie. Okay. This is a page on Lizzie Applegate. Who I guess is from here. No, this is history of San Francisco. Where I am not. So never mind. Ah! Yes, that will help. With that lock that had the braille on it. Keep. So I just have to find out the code. And then I can get into the maintenance closet where I'm definitely not supposed to be. But where I want to be because it's got a fun lock. This music is stressing me out, you guys. A crane was mentioned in one. Oh, was it? You're probably right. I'll look back at my pictures. Okay. Um, this is a poorly, poorly titled article about steroid abuse. That can't be what's going on with that Hulk guy at all, right? I really do love it when the uh, when the lawn guys for our neighborhood show up right when I'm trying to stream. I hope that's not too loud. <sighs> okay. What is this? Spell something. The split one? The one that was... I'm sure those letters mean something. Aha! 
A crane, a crane, yes. A crane contestant in a mass disguise won the prize money despite all the lies. So that's definitely a creepy message about Connie that was on the board. So this is all very strange to me. Let's see. Can I go this way? Yes. Let's A computer. Oh, I can look up a books. That's good to know. <laughs> music is really tripping me out. Alright, let's see what else. The library holds. Okay, so why are there. Why is that message about Connie on the bulletin board? And what prize money is it talking about? And also, what lies is it talking about? Is a thing I would like to know. Can I look? Oh, I can go down some place. Oh, what? 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 What was that? Did you guys hear that? Did you guys hear that? What the heck? There's a message based on the... Uh... Ha! Ah, if anything happens to me, uh, is this a word? Yeah, random alarm. I don't know. Okay, if anything happens to me, uh, something uh, under my. Combo in cattle. Ah, search, search. If anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog. What? <laughs> what in the heck? Okay, well, I don't that alarm. The secret message in the map drawer. What is your. Do I have your locker combination? Okay, she's putting all those down. Oh, I forgot I can log into the computer. Which one? Is that the input? Can I log into this computer? No? Let go. Okay. <laughs> what was that alarm? And <laughs> why did no one but me react to it? Ah, uh, this is from another one of the games that I haven't finished. down all of these. Now time to search all of these, Nancy. Okay, uh, Secret of the Crystal Skull is another Nancy Drew game that exists. Okay, good to know the... Yes. Good to know... <laughs> Why is the music different on this side of the library? Jake, oh, Jake was here. Thanks for being a typical teenage boy, Jake. Okay, that's probably gonna come in handy later. Wait, oh, wait. Is that? Are these elements? You guys see this? We're gonna come back to you, periodic table. I just heard, I just heard a door. Okay, what is going on?
I'm about to get attacked. Oh gosh. How nervous. Haven't done that. Okay. I found everything. Did that. Check. Okay, how are we gonna find Jake's locker combination? What would a teenage boy make his locker combination? Does he get to pick his locker combination? Also, where is his locker? And am I gonna have to go through all of the school to find it? Oh, it's probably the one with the crime scene tape. What we got? What? I hesitate to ask the internet what a teenage boy would make his locker combination. Jake worked in the library. He only got for a journal. What if it's Jake? Can I do numbers for Jake? Oh, I should call Ned. What's Jake? Five, two, five, three. That's a bad combination, Jake. That took me like five seconds. Interesting. Treatise on etiquette. Okay, English essays. A empty video case. And a judo magazine. Cool. Masked marauder flattens foes. Okay, Jake. What teenage boy reads a newspaper? A break in a pharmacy. Okay, several vials of hectanol were taken. Anybody know what that is? I could probably find out. In the library! What did I just do? Aha! See if magazines in the library have information about the drug. Oh! Y'all yeah, bet it's steroids. Check. Check. Uh, figure out how my phone can help me figure out Jake's locker combination. Okay. That's done. Don't need to do that. Check. Okay, okay, okay. I have a lot of stuff on my list. I bet anything that that is a steroid. I'm really concerned about that alarm that went off and then that door that I heard. Magazines. Magazines. Go this, way. this one. The music, though, you guys. Yeah, hectanol or human growth hormone. Okay, Mr. The Hulk. I don't want to stereotype you. Except. I'm going to. Where's the, the gym? You still over here? How's it going? Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Let's just jump right in. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. Oh. Do you know why Jake had an empty mm -hmm. video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Do you know Hal Tanaka? That dude is always studying. He's a huge fan of mine. Real smart guy. But I never understood why a brain like Tanaka would hang out with slime like Jake. Hal was a hate friend Jake of Jake's? So much. Let's just say I saw them talking together a lot. Jake's locker was right next to Hal's. But they weren't really friends, is that what you're saying? Jake didn't really have friends, and Hal... He may seem pretty chill, but I've seen him crack a couple of times. 
He's seriously uptight. Crack a couple of times. He's got a temper, a bad one. He lets the pressure build and build until he's wound so tight the slightest thing sets him off. Like last week, I strike him out during gym, and he goes ballistic and charges the mound. He's got some serious issues. Uh, these kids need help, y'all. Now that I think of it, last time I saw them together, Hal seemed pretty upset. What can you tell me about Connie Watson? She hangs out at the gym a lot. I heard she's been having a real tough time. Why? Tough time? Tell me everything. I heard she's been having some money problems. Okay. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He seems like a cool guy. <laughs> no, he doesn't. His family used to sponsor the annual football awards dinner until last year. You know, he's the one who found Jake's body. That's probably why he was acting I gotta so go. Weird. Later. <sighs> this is like an episode of Degrassi. Okay. Can I? Oh, what's that? Okay. Interesting. I found like a few uh, like dollars in quarters at this point. Not like cans everywhere. Huh. Okay. Check. Check. What else we got? Um. Well, I guess I should go talk to everybody again. Oh wait. Talk. Can't check that off yet. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll figure out the posters in a little bit. Study dome. How? Just ask him all Have about you heard other. of Hulk Sanchez? <clears throat> heard of him? Hulk holds the conference record for quarterback sacks. He's been the state's number one player since he was a freshman. Kay. He's also a candidate for a big university, even with his injury. Injury? Hulk got hurt a few weeks ago. Ever since that game, he hasn't played the same. I worry that his chances of playing for a top school are not as good as before his injury. That's nice that you care, Hal. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. Hmm. Do you know Connie Watson? Yes, we've been in a few classes together. I think she was dating Jake Rogers. Okay, everyone in the school is telling me lies. What can you tell me about Daryl Gray? He's very popular, and a good politician too. Just like his father. Okay. Like his father? Things are starting to come together I hear about Daryl. he was Darryl. a great politician, but not a very good <coughs> businessman. I think his company went bankrupt a few years ago. See ya. I must go now, Nancy. Yeah, I said bye first. <laughs> How do I get to... Is this where I came from? This school is a large... Confusing circle. Is there another door out of here? Yes, okay, that's what I want. Hey, Nancy, need something? <sighs> so many questions. Okay, let's start at the top. Have you seen any of those weird messages on the bulletin boards? <sighs> yes, and if I catch the guy who's doing it, he's going to be in big trouble. I bet it's the same person who keeps on setting off the soda machine alarm. I guess that comes with a territory of being school monitor. Normally it's not this hectic. When I figure out who's been pulling all these pranks... How well do you know Daryl Gray? I wish I knew him better. He's the only guy I'd ever consider dating. He's student Ew. council president, Connie. has a cool job at a diner called Maxine's, and drives a Seaback X80. Drives a sports car and works at a diner? That doesn't compute. Yeah, I don't get it either. Daryl's family was rich and used to throw major parties all the time, but not anymore. Oh, but you, but you don't. <sighs> Maybe I should have played a game with adults in it. These kids are not... Do Not you know doing great. why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? Why are you so weird, Connie? I gotta Connie? go now. Later. No, I had a... Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. I'm starting to wonder about you, specifically your taste in men. Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? Oh, so that was true. That's why she hates him so much. He's her ex. But now he's dead. 
Suspicious. Hoke told me money's been tight for you these days. But what a dork! Hulk Sanchez doesn't know the first thing about my life. He needs to get a life and stop talking about mine. Do you True. know how Tanaka? Not very well. He's an exchange student from Japan and a total workaholic. He told me he's trying to get more scholarships for college. Lately, he's been looking really burnt out. I think the pressure's getting to him. What pressure? I think I can see where this I is going. I guess it's a big deal for his family that he get into a good school on a free ride. See you later. That's what I thought she was going to say. Uh, okay. How do I get you to leave? Let's check the checklist. Did that. Okay. Figure out where you can't leave. I still got stuff in the library, I guess. I don't want to talk to Hulk again. I'll do something else. Check out the teacher's lounge for information on student visit. Okay, but I can't get in there yet. Okay, follow the directions of the secret message in the map drawer, which said something about something I've already forgotten. If anything happens to me, search under my combo in catalog. So Jake? So I should just search Jake. <laughs> Again, high schoolers are a little dense. Okay. Can I oh it's on the computers. I can do that. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to oddly walk this way around the shelves. Uh Jake? Well, that didn't work. Maybe that's not the combo he means. I do want to know what's going on, because Nancy wrote this in her notes. Where is it? All of these things. Oh, y'all! Wait. The soda machine alarm. Wait. 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 Don't tell me. Will that work, do you think? Grape, grape, orange, cool? Where is that soda machine? Okay, not the one right in front of Connie, probably. Because she'll see me do it. Should I talk to Hulk first? I'm not into pushy girls. Do me a favor and bother someone else. I'm not into douchey guys. <laughs> Get out of here. I'm really sorry you got injured. No, you're not, Does Nancy. We're not your sorry. chances of playing college ball? Don't make that choice I for me. I had a little sprain. No big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I doubt that's well, true. I'm as strong Pretty as lightning. I gotta go. Bye, Nancy. Oh, I hate you. Okay. What is it? This is not okay. This is this is bad. This is me being bad detective. This is not gonna work. Get Connie over here to fix it. It worked. I'm good at this game. Connie, where the heck? I forgot where she is. Did I walk past it. Yeah. Connie! Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Someone set off the alarm, Connie. Someone set off the alarm on the soda Go machine again. Go fix it, again. Connie. Ugh. Watch the fort while I'm gone. You can bet I'm gonna look through all your stuff and then break into the teacher's lounge. I'm the best detective. What does it say? God, it's so small. You might be wondering why I'm even sending this, and I wish I had a better explanation. So many times in the hallways we catch each other's eyes, and it seems like we both want to say something, but we just keep walking. You with your friends, and me alone. <gasps> There's so much I want to say to you. Every time I drive to or from school, it's like you're in the car with me, and we have these amazing conversations, and I'm thinking, will this ever become true? Oh my gosh, who is this about? Can you ever forgive me for what I did? Can I? I want to explain, but a part of me knows it's not safe and stupid to do. 
Sometimes I just can't keep it bottled inside me and I want to scream it from the rooftops. Is this crazy? Am I? Is that for Jake? Or Daryl? <gasps> Did she kill her ex-boyfriend? Okay, I'm gonna go in here first before she comes back. I don't know if there's a time limit on these things. Yeah, okay. Okay, what business can I get into in here? Let's get in some trouble, kids. Ooh, senior final papers. Hal? This looks exactly like the one in Jake's locker. <gasps> oh, you guys. Did Hal plagiarize his final essay? Submit to the Scholarship Foundation. How he's gonna get in so much trouble? You can't do that. You kicked out of school for that. Oh, so much has happened in the last like five minutes. <laughs> okay, well, what's this? Okay. Administration. Okay. What's that? That's like a copier, I think. Oh, I have something for this. This just got very exciting very quickly. Eloise Drew, Pastor Wise Elder. Okay. All right. Aha, okay. What can I get up to? Passwords. Yes. Give me all the passwords. Excellent. Maintenance. That's a to-do list for the maintenance. To-do list. What was that? You guys heard that knocking, right? Ah, oh, I'm printing something. Security detail report. Lights left on library. Backpack found in student union place in Lawson found. Dumpsters are not properly secured. Raccoons. Okay. Observed young man peering through school entrance doorway. Exchange student trying to receive his homework. Retrieve his homework. Well, that's obviously how. There's only like three characters in this game. Let him in. Escorted him to his locker and out of the building. Okay, okay. Several students caught soaping teachers' lounge windows for senior prank. Daryl Gray, shame on you, student council president. Heard screams from East Daryl calling out of a male, teacher, male teenager who fell from the stairs. Can I, no, can I keep this? No? Oh, dang it. Okay, I'm really scared to turn around and find out what that um, knocking sound was, so if I just don't. <laughs> Maybe it'll go away. What does it mean? You guys, I don't know. Everything's a clue, right? Every Everything's a clue until it's... Oh, am I gonna get murdered? No, okay. Before we leave, just one more sweep. What's that? <clears throat> Great Enterprises, Doc Tumbles. That's what's his face, his dad. Daryl, Daryl Gray. So his company is losing money. Can I? Found a quarter. I'm <laughs> gonna start a quarter counter in the chat. Okay, I think I've got everything I'm gonna get. Out of here, if I go out here, am I gonna get Axed. I hope not. Hello? You better stop your nosy nosing, or it'll get bent way out of shape. <laughs> um, okay, I have caller ID on my phone. Mitch Dillon, <laughs> I'm gonna call you back. Dillon, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and cooling, how may I help you? 
Hi, this is Nancy is this Drew. A joke? <laughs> you called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. Nancy's no, laughing I at this didn't. guy. Yes, you did. Guess you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're right, having trouble uh, with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. That sounded I'm like a threat. I'm talking about you A permanent me. solution? I didn't threaten you. Mitch. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. <laughs> Y'all. We haven't done yet is call Ned. I'm gonna do that before I do anything else because he's probably. Hello, is this Martha Windeglassen? Who is please calling me? He's being um, a goober. No, I'm trying to reach Nancy. Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. I, I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned, I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously through you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu ish. It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to you this case. You guys didn't case, talk about this Even up you at left. Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. Oh, you're such oh. a sweetie. Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. You guys. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? What a nice boy. Um... I don't think I need any clues on this I'm guy. not sure what to do with a secret message in the map drawer. Read every other word and then follow the directions. The answer is a number that Jake would have used several oh, times a week. Maybe I should look up the Ciao. number Just. instead of the word. Smartest boyfriend. That was so nice. How do you get back to library? Okay. Do do. This is shorter. I have to follow a very specific path to get around this library. What was the number? Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh -huh. Evidence. Jay Rogers. That's Jake. Was he like adding stuff to the library catalog? Who is this kid? He was a secret agent. Under my seat. I really wish the library music was not so frightening. Where was the... Okay. Uh, hmm. Interesting. What does it mean? <laughs> oh, I always think I'm on to something. And... Uh, Did that. Got the password. Did that. Did that. Can't check nope. that off yet. Talk to Hulk. Oh, I gotta talk to Hal still. Oh, I don't want to accuse him. Did that of plagiarism? It's not really my job or my place. Check. Did that. Still have to do that. Okay, guess I haven't looked at all the posters good enough yet. That's done. Got Connie to leave. That's done. Oh, I can get into that lock now. Did. Still have to do that. Okay, not done in here either. Good to know. You guys think he was a drug dealer? Oh, so maybe he. Maybe he is the one that robbed the pharmacy? And then he was selling the steroids? Maybe that's how Hulk's sprain got better so much faster. Good thinking. Good thinking. This is why we do this as a team. Okay. Daryl's father. I don't... I could set off the soda alarm. Good job, Nancy. You did it. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure about this quite yet, but now I know it's there. Now I know it's there and I don't know what to do with it, as usual. Um, okay. Things that I can accomplish. Check out, I'm gonna go back to the gym and figure out about the posters and then I'm gonna go talk to Hal and we're gonna figure out how to open that box. And if you guys have any, oh, I'm gonna, I am gonna go, I don't know what that noise was. 
It might have been part of the music. I'm also gonna try to open the maintenance closet. I'm gonna do all of those things. And if you guys have any ideas about the box along the way, shout them out. I'm not into pushy girls. Oh, this is do not me a favor and bother someone else. Goodbye. 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 I didn't Bye. come here to talk to you. Anyway, okay, what posters am I not looking at? I looked at all of this. Happy spines. That's a nice thing. Okay, oh, well, this. Okay. Nowhere to turn to, nowhere to hide. High school sports murder equals drugs 100% of the time. You're probably right. Would the books in the library be your answer guide? Oh, this is like scrambled. This is backwards and upside down. To keep up his something. Even if it something, 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 something. He uh, so he did what it took to make the grade. Is this about how he did what it took. Is this is he gonna end up? Is this Jake incriminating all of his? classmates. This is some, like, 13 reasons why stuff. What does this mean? Why is there an eye chart just by the gym? Do you guys see anything in this? It's backwards. If anything happens to me, this guy has like messages and literally everything in the school. Look in my. Mm. <laughs> if anything happens to me, look in. I would just like to remind everyone that these are games for children, like ages ten and up, and I'm sitting here, an hour in, like I can't read. If anything happens to me, look in my chemistry book, page 394, probably not, uh, but my chemistry book, page 305, okay? He has so much time to hide all of these clues around the school, he probably could have been stopping himself <laughs> from being murdered. I don't want to blame the kid. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing. I shouldn't do that. Look at my chemistry book. It's obviously not his fault. Someone murdered him, but he had all this time to place all these clues. Chemistry, what up? I didn't open this wall. Nancy, okay, Nancy. Let's get it together. There's another one of those. Things to remember. Me. I'm sure you wrote this list for you. The answer to my fate lies in the box. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds the first step. My messages hold the remaining 18 steps. The elements tell the order. The letter and digit tell the direction. Jake. Why couldn't you just write, <laughs> Daryl murdered me? Ugh, <laughs> uh, okay. So I was right. So these are elements. Letter and digit tell the direction. What does that mean? Ugh. Hold on. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, I. You too. Okay, so that's obviously an element, and then... Okay. And then a direction. D2. Gotta do that next. R4. R1. What does it mean? What's in the box? <laughs> D1. 
Up, oh, up, down, left, right. Y'all. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Alright. Bye, Morgan. Thank you for dropping by and hanging out. Okay, so we're gonna have to... Okay, the elements. What do the elements have to do with... The elements tell the order. Oh, uh, okay. So we can do get the... Um... Wow, has it been a long time since I took a chemistry class? Is that the atomic number? Of the elements? Is that what that number is? Please don't shame me if it's not. Is that what that... So we get all the messages. I can put them all in order. And then I have up, down, left, right directions. And I can press all the keys on the box. Okay. This is happening. And to think, I couldn't solve a simple slide slide puzzle earlier. We're gonna do great. Okay, uh, maintenance room. Note, and I've got the rail for that somewhere in here. Okay, let's do that, because I want to know what's in there. Look at the schedule. Still have to do that. Okay, we gotta find more of those. Still have to do that. Okay, those posters are still really getting me. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go open the maintenance closet. Man, open that box. I gotta find all the messages. Okay. Gotta find more messages. Where was the maintenance closet? Oh, how? You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Oh, why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. Oh. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. Oh. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester. Or he would tell my family everything. Well, how you're gonna what fail? What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. How? Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. I think I Please him. don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise oh. to make up for this mistake, Help. even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who oh. did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. I bet those are those two boys that security saw fighting. Wow, a lot happens in these conversations with Hal. There, <laughs> you are right, G. There should be a gritty reboot of this. It'd be like Riverdale. Hal. Hal, you're so screwed, buddy. Well, I guess you're not anymore because you don't have to do Jake's homework for the rest of the year. But, like, you were going to bury yourself in work and your grades were going to suffer and you weren't going to get a scholarship. Or you were going to get caught plagiarizing, you were going to get kicked out, and you weren't going to get a scholarship. So, like, both of those are bad. Connie told me you study too hard. Is that true? How? Connie doesn't know my study habits. I can handle my studies. Can you, Hal? I'm behind in my studies, and I must get You're back to the library. <laughs> Bye, Nancy. Okay, I can handle my studies. I'm behind in my studies. How? Y'all. <laughs> it's Daryl. You think Daryl did it? I thought you guys thought the cop did it. Or was that a joke? No, we should probably go back and talk to Daryl. Right, I mean... Check. Did that. Okay. Read this. Oh, the schedule at Maxine. So I gotta go back there anyway. Okay. I haven't watched Riverdale either. The only thing I know about it is... <laughs> I mean, I know what it's based on. And then uh, what they've talked about on still buffering. So is this the front door? Alright, let's take a breather from the high school. 
I'm going to Maxine's. You guys just, you have your... Ooh. Can I play a song? A 14 quarters. I don't want to spend three quarters. coming to play. Only um, true savvy solves and mystery fans <laughs> will recognize this as the weird music that they play in uh, Nancy Drew, The Phantom of Venice, when you have that weird scene where you dress up in a cat suit and dance in a club. Like I said, these are kids' games. Ooh, what? And I'm not gonna give you guys more context than that. <laughs> but that's that's this music. They use this again. What can I do for you? Okay. <laughs> you can. Go away and never come back is what you can do for me. I'm about to ask you all these questions at do once. Do you know get, Connie Watson? Get ready. Settle in, folks. Not that well. She keeps to herself a lot. I've always thought there's something mysterious about her. Kind of the same way I feel about you. Ugh. Vomit. Thanks for the compliment, but <laughs> I'm already seeing someone. Thanks for the, uh... That's cool. I'm just saying. Compliment. Not playing. What is wrong with this person? Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once, but I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? Oh, well, let's not just say I'm undercover with the police. Hmm, okay. I'm writing an the article angle. about the murder for the school newspaper. Oh. I have no idea. What else can I do for mm. you? Okay. Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. This is the, Wasn't that the student night council murdered? president. Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. It was the night Jake was murdered. Didn't you find his body, though? Didn't I hear that you found Jake's body? Yeah, I, I did. The student council president gets keys to the school. We had an early morning council meeting, and I found him lying there. It was the worst thing I ever experienced in my life, and I really don't want to think about it right now. That is pretty bad. <laughs> what can you tell me about Hal Tanaka? Hal's an exchange student who's all scholarships and study. He's very intense about becoming a doctor. It was super suspicious, G. Oh my gosh. How well do you know Hulk Sanchez? Big guy, big muscles, big dreams. A lot of football scouts mm -hmm. have been coming over to watch mm -hmm. him play. Big he muscles. He must be mm -hmm. under a lot of pressure to perform. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Well, yeah, because your daddy got it for you. Great. You're a great Didn't person. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. You... That's okay. Nancy, do uh, not apologize to what this else can I do person. Bye. See ya. What did I come here to get a schedule? Where is the schedule? Please see. My song, it's back. Where would I find a schedule? In here. Hold on. Music is so good. 
Oh, aha. Okay. Can I just walk? Can I just walk back here? I guess I can just walk back here. Oh, this kitchen is very clean. I just took a ladle. For reasons that I'm sure will become clear later. Dear Daryl, to break up our date to the Sadie Hawkins dance, I'm very sorry. But, dot, dot, dot. Something suddenly came up. Connie. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, me too, G. I appreciate how insincere her apologies with big quotes are. <laughs> they, she's like, listen, I'm only saying I'm sorry because it's the socially acceptable thing to do, not because I mean it. Um, okay, so Connie asked Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance and then broke it off. Can I take this knife? Nope, just the ladle. Okay, well, thought I would try. Not that kind of game, I guess. Aha! I can't believe I can just walk back here and just look at this stuff. This is, oh, there's another clue written on it. I cannot believe how unsecured this information is and that makes me nervous what does this say to maxine daryl carl yuli and mel from jake who used to work here i guess did we know that we might have already known that and i wasn't paying attention a uh, memo describing the finer points of closing the diner some people think there are some secrets but it couldn't be easier total out the cash register Bring the cook the receipts to store in the potato bin. Check the life expiration dates on all the foods and throw the expired ones out. That's nice. They do that every day. I I would eat at this restaurant. It seems very good. They probably don't actually do it every day. They should though. The cashier cook it off food crumbs off the counter. Cook wraps condiments for the next day. Services are washed. There's another clue. A Sadie Hawkins dance. In my khaki pants? Is that the joke you were going for? I missed it because I was reading the closing procedures. There's nothing better. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. I gotcha. Yeah, so I guess Detective Bro over here has just been sitting here this whole time and not not detecting I guess I thought we were working together but it seems like I'm doing all the work and Uncle Steve good recovery on Daryl's question about Jake's locker thanks Uncle Steve but reported for school here. newspaper it's not that great of a cover oh cuz you're so I good had at to this think on my feet fake Steve yeah. I think you should know Tell that I got a threatening phone threatening call me. from someone named Mitch Dillon. Interesting. Mitch is a suspect we're looking into, and he probably caught wind that you're snooping around. But I wouldn't pay him much attention. If he does anything else, let me know, and we'll take care of him. Cool. Okay. Sorry for the distraction. My work is texting in our group text, but it's not for me, so that's fine. How is he involved? You don't need to know at this time. Just concentrate on the students and finding Jake's journal. We have Mitch covered. Obviously not. He is calling teenagers, by the way, and threatening them. When the police looked through Jake's locker, did they take a videotape? No. We didn't. You're thinking there's something important on that tape. Important enough that Jake hit it. Something like that. <laughs> Good lead. Find that videotape, Nancy. GG, Sherlock. I don't like this guy. I, this guy is shady. I found a notepad in the library. I don't really that think seems I should like be telling him all Jake. this stuff. I think I'm going to regret really? this later. Tell me more. It says things to remember me and seems to give clues about the answer to my fate lies in a box. Okay. This is the best lead we've had. You're welcome. I think it could break the case. Follow whatever directions he gave to find this box. His journal could be in there. Excellent work, Nancy Drew. But remember, 
You need to keep a low profile and be careful. Okay, listen, Uncle Jesse, whoever you are, Uncle Steve. See you around. Be careful. I'm not, I'm not super convinced about this cop guy, <laughs> you guys. Um, I don't, y'all, I don't feel good about that. Okay, let's check the checklist. Did that. Check. Check out all the posters. Okay, I'm missing something on those posters. We're gonna go back, look around the library. Check. Okay, oh, finally. I found what I was supposed to find. It must have been that box. So check all the posters and the 18 messages. Yeah, thank you, chat. It is valid information. He freaking called and threatened me. Okay, how many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I'm missing three. Okay. Clue time. Clue searching time. Where have I not searched? <sighs> Did I get everything? Are there any bulletin boards or anything in the lobby? The killer's definitely in the diner. Listen, I think so too. So it's, I mean, it's. I was gonna say it's gotta be Daryl. Like, it's gotta be Daryl, right? It keeps telling me to click. Oh no, oh, there is one on here. Okay, I missed that earlier. I don't think I need to do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay. So I need three more of those. Where am I gonna get them? Oh, the meanest closet. I almost forgot. What was. Nancy having a camera on her phone is like the best thing that ever happened to me because you don't get this in all of her games. Some of the ones where she doesn't have a cell phone, you gotta remember things. Just awful. Or write things down. I usually have a big like piece of paper where I write everything down. Okay, maintenance room. Note. What does that look like in Braille? There we go. Okay. So in. Oh, T. I'm not gonna remember this. Where's my pen? <laughs> Hang on, you guys. We're getting old school. I don't wanna have to keep clicking back and forth. This is my Wild Space notebook. Thanks for all your help, Wild Space. This is how we did it in the olden days. N. O. T. Yes. Nailed it. Thank you. For your service. Notebook. Okay. Service elevator. Oh, a quarter. I'm gonna buy so many sodas when this is over. It's the only thing that's in here. the door. Okay. Oop. Oh man, I'm gonna die down here for sure. There's always a moment in these games where Nancy gets trapped in a room and you have a time limit to get out and I'm nervous that this is gonna be that room. Ooh, that, that looks like a thing I should not touch. The boiler? Established 1967. Did I? I feel like I read somewhere a different year that like Paseo del Mar hadn't been here that long. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. 1967. Was it some of these instructions? <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a place where I'm gonna almost die later. Because of the high temperature condition, 
Okay, so that's that's where those are supposed to be. Toolbox. What is in here? Gloves. Excellent. Not gonna need those for anything scary later. Oh, let me go down there. No? No? Okay. So let's... This is where those are supposed to be. Alright, uh, this is definitely gonna come up later. Good to know. Okay. Find more messages. Is that all that's left? The posters. Can't check that yeah, off I yet. I guess we're going back to the, to the gym posters. Can I not look around in like the lockers or anything? Nope. Okay. Well. Which way's the gym? Gym. Does this count as part of the gym? I think I already got this one. Yeah, I already got that one. This was what is this supposed to say? Sure, this is supposed to say something. It said 1967 in the school entrance. Okay, I don't know where I got that from. I obviously made it up. <laughs> okay, get any of these? I got this one. Oh, these are all posters. Posters? No, no, no. He looked at all this. It's the it's the upside down stuff about how. Okay. Join the winning team. I already got that. It's not a poster. Join the track team. Aha! Well, that looks vaguely familiar. Five five five, five judo. Do you think I should call them? Judo for men and women of all ages. Okay. Get a jump. On education. Is that the only poster I looked at? Did that! Oh, I should talk to Connie. Oh, you were deciphering them? Sorry. I forgot where that one was. Hold on, I'll go back. Not that one. It was like five posters ago. Okay. Here we go. These do I need? Heck, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, okay, fifteen. Oh, there's a defense school called Crane. So Connie's a part of it. Okay. Find the morning edition and discover another crime. Okay. The answer is in black and white. Okay, the answer is in black and white. To how I'll do, oh, uh, ha ha, two, ha, ha, something. To who will do the time, okay, yeah. Find the morning edition and discover another crime. The answer is in black and white to who will do the time. So the newspaper. He's talking about the newspaper and the the breaking into the uh, pharmacy. Let's talk to Connie because she does have a crane medallion and that is that judo school and uh i already forgot his name isn't that sad jake had that judo magazine nancy i'm starting to wonder about you i'm starting to wonder about you connie i'm not starting have been this whole time your medallion has a symbol that means crane and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym oh, connie goes and? what a coincidence funny i never noticed mm -hmm. i gotta go now later mm -mm. no you don't hey nancy need something why did you break your date with Daryl to the Sadie Hawkins dance? 
It's a long story. Can I just... I'll let you go. Bye. No, not... <sighs> Did that. Fine, okay, we're just gonna have to find the rest of Jake's... Messages, that's all I've got. Okay. <sighs> Feel it, we're getting close. Okay, where have I not looked? I've looked at every... Yeah, that's that one. Okay, I feel like I've looked at every board. So we're looking for Jake's journal. I would bet his journal is in that box. These look like they're scrambled up. Tape. Video. Hit the... Oh, I bet it's backwards. Will something my murderers uh, will seal my murderer's fate. The hidden videotape will seal my murderer's fate. Okay. This guy straight up knew he was going to get murdered. I'm tripping out. Okay. Jake. Where did you hide the rest of these? Goodness. Okay. That's all we've got left. Right? All right. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Doctor Deception. Student files under lock and key will show the lies of the doctor to be. Okay, let's go through the ones that I took pictures of, because that's about how. It's just the work schedule. Oh, you know what? There's highlighted letters on this. Maybe it wouldn't let me interact with the furnace, though. Got that. Got that. This one I haven't dealt with yet. I don't know what that's about. We did that one. Okay. Put... Elements... In... I say order, put elements in order to open puzzle. Yeah, okay, so we got that. I think we've got all we're gonna get from these. Okay, and I got that on the videotape. Okay. So what are we missing, guys? Whoop. Okay. Right, left, down, up. Letters first. Oh my gosh, this is hard. <laughs> right, left, down, up. Letters first. The plight. Uh, oh gosh, okay. Up, down, left, right. The first letters will help my plight. There we go. I don't think I had that one before. The crime in the morning newspaper was the, um, because we found a newspaper in Jake's locker that was the one talking about the pharmacy getting broken into and the, uh, steroids getting stolen. I 
Let's turn on all those views. Go down this hallway. Yeah, it's just going to the library. Okay. Got that one. Jake, where are you hiding this stuff? Okay. numbers. God, I don't even begin to know what that means. I don't know. I don't know if Connie did the robbery or not. Um, okay, that was grape, grape, orange, cool. Weird to get that one. Why is there a quarter in there? <laughs> anything, anything on the art exhibit. Okay. I feel like that's not what I want. Just got a couple more. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oops, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'm missing one of these. Where is it, Jake? hanging like this. Got that one. Heard you hide one last clue. I think we've come all the way around now. Yep. Alright, well, so... I've got 17 of the 18. Maybe I can use process of elimination to figure it out. I don't know how I'm gonna keep all those in my brain though. So I've got 17 of the elements, we've got 17 of the directions. Out of 18. All right. you guys. Alright. Quarter! On that happy quarter note. Um, I'm going for a little while. I am internet. Um, going to take a real quick break and get something to drink and stretch real quick and then come back and see if we can find the 18th clue and open the box because I feel like we're getting really close. So... Put your thinking caps on while I'm gone and see if you can think of any place that I haven't checked yet for one of these notes. And we'll do another lap around the school real quick when I come back in just a moment. Thanks for hanging out and I'll be back shortly. And hello again, everybody. I am back and refreshed and ready to continue solving this mystery. So, uh, we're looking for one last clue from Jake. Um, I'm gonna do one last look around here and see what I can't find. Um, and then we're gonna go back and check the, I feel like I already checked these. Uh, I'm gonna go back and check the other places I can go, aka the diner. Things like that. Can I go back in here? Nancy, you can't go in there. Am I gonna have to chase her away from... Okay. I'm gonna go back in the teacher's lounge. And... Make sure we didn't miss anything in there. Don't wanna talk to you. What was the thing? Grape, grape. Grape, grape, orange. Great, you broke it. Why does it do that? It shouldn't do that. 
Why do your vending machines behave like this? Where is it? Oh, duh. I always walk past it. Yeah. Connie. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Go away. Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. She didn't write anything new, did she? No. Okay. Alright, let's check in here one more time. I have a key. Okay. Did okay, I looked in there? Oh. What are you? Oh! <gasps> okay, okay. A trophy was not the only prize, but also money of a greater size. Well, I have found a thing. However, that still means nothing to me. So, is that all? Did that. Okay, I can open the box. Great. This is why we double check. Library. I feel like I just went the longest way possible to get here. I hate this school, it's confusing. is up here. No. Oh. I'm gonna have to do all this. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what we're gonna have to do is... That's not what I want to do. We're gonna have to put all these in order, guys. That was a nerve-wracking sound. Hi, Ryan! Okay. I should have done this while I was on break. This is gonna take me a minute. Alright. Let us... Make a list. So we're gonna do... Unless, let me make sure Nancy's not going to do this for me. She's just going to make me write this down myself, huh? No? Okay. I'll do it myself. Because I'm an adult. AG is 47. Okay. Y is... I see a Y. Aha! 39. We're gonna figure this out, and I'm gonna do it as quickly as possible, just trying to be boring. That's helium, that's two, I think. Yeah, helium. All right, making progress. HG, that is something. Is HG mercury? Yes, 80. Is it HG left three? It's 80, okay. Making progress. TE is over here. Two. What was about to say? So I said all three, okay. X, E, I see that is 54. 54. This is how we did it in the olden days, kids. Before Nancy just started giving us all the answers. Okay. CL. Chlorine. Is 17. We are figuring this out. And I love it. And A is 
is sodium, which is 11, 3, ZR, don't know what that is. C-Z-R. Here you are. Zirconium. I have not solved the case yet, but I did find all of these <laughs> things. So I'm finding the elements, finding their number. I'm going to put them in order. It's very exciting for just me and no one else, but that's okay. Potassium is... Number 19 on the periodic table. We're learning our elements. It's very exciting. Krypton? Is that a real element? I guess. I R. Where are you, I R? Now this is like a real, it's like a real puzzle, like a real code. CN, which is probably zinc. Down one. CN, where are you? Where? There you are, 30. Okay. Which I think is silver. No, AG is silver. That's AS. A is gold. Silver. Uh, arsenic. 33 on the table. Uh, carbon. Which is right one. Is six. On the table. Room. A. Fifty-seven. Just says rare earths. It's a whole fifty-seven to seventy-one. Maybe it's fifty-seven. We'll see. H F is da 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 somewhere. Oh, right next to where I was. Seven. That's all of them. Okay. So now I just said a bunch of things. <laughs> now I have to put them in order. Let's pick up. Which I'm going to do very quickly and try to be interesting while doing it, even though that's going to be nearly impossible. So. HE, I think, was first, but I already can't read my writing. Because that's supposed to be H E U. So that's gonna be up two. What comes after two? Put these in order. Six. Which is carbon. Right one. Right, what else I got on here? I feel like a real, real detective right now. This is probably what detectives do, right? How about eleven? Left three. Oops. Take my mic with my pen. Eleven. Next. Seventeen. It's down two. Then I got nineteen. All right one. There's so many numbers in this. Is 30 really the next one? 30. I wish there was a way. 
me to easily show you guys what I'm doing, but it's it's just a bunch of numbers and letters. I'm just putting them in order real quick. 30, 39, 36, uh, 32, 4, okay, how about then 36, which is left, 2. This is all very, very intense. Get out of my way, microphone. I'm trying to solve a mystery here. 40 is after 39. That's right. Four. What was that? Okay. After 40, we have got 47. The only thing I don't know, I think, is where to start on the box. 53. So that's another thing that I need to figure out is where I'm actually starting on this box before I follow all these directions. Oh no, I missed 52. this 57 to 71. Hopefully that'll fit. Two. So I got a 72. Left one. So I missed one. There it is, 77. Because it goes before 80. If I could read my own handwriting, it would be phenomenal. So that's 77. Down to 77. Okay. So that's 18. There we go. Okay. I have done. I have done it. <laughs> the puzzle. <laughs> I have put them in order. I feel very good about it. I'm sure it was fascinating to watch me sit here writing on a piece of paper for five minutes, but that's okay. Oh, the only problem is where do start, Jake? I solved your element puzzle. Okay. A matchbook behind Maxine's schedule holds a first step. Okay. So we're gonna find that. We're gonna know where to start. We're gonna put all my hard writing work to good use that I just did. Where? How do I get out of the school? Um, this is where I just was. Dang it. The real puzzle is getting out of this place. Here we go, okay. So, we wanna go to Maxine's. You want to go... Uh-oh. Uncle Steve. Fake Uncle Steve. I wonder what he's up to. What we want to do is remember how I got to kitchen. Schedule, schedule, schedule. Did I get out behind him? Hmm, looks like something was removed here. Yeah? Ooh. 
Whoops. There's a gas leak in your kitchen. I knew something was a foot. Do you guys also see right here on the scudding board where it definitely says watch out? Okay. Matchbook. I didn't find a matchbook. I don't know. this up? Can I physically go behind it? What does that mean? I do now! Yeah, right? Okay, it took me a second. Jake, what does this mean? Schedule holds the first step. But what? I mean, I don't know what that means. <sighs> well. Not entirely sure. Where have I not looked lately? I don't want to talk to Daryl again. He stresses me out. I don't think I have a reason to go back to Eloise's. Let us explore some more. is that I don't know which symbol to start at. In there. Is that it's the library? closet, except I don't freaking remember where it is. Do you guys remember? Okay, we'll go down there one more time, and then I'll go back to the numbers. Aha! I've done that password somewhere! Alright, I'll go back to the numbers in a second. Oh, it's just open. Sweet. One more again. Double check down here, and then... Phone. 
Let's see what Ned has to say. Hi, Nancy. Hi. How can I figure out the puzzle box that Jake left? Until you can find the first step, you won't be able to. But in the meantime, look for his 18 steps. Think chemistry. That. Bye, Ned. Help. Just exactly none. <laughs> Ned. Thank you for calling Dylan HVAC. We are currently away from the office. Do I feel like... Is it the guy from the to-do list? Because that sounds familiar. don't want to chase Connie away from the uh, from the thing just to go back in there It was a very friendly answering machine, was it? Maybe I should... Hmm. Okay, who have I not talked to recently? Usually... Oh, how's it going? Oh, no, there it is. Oh, it's you, Nancy. I'm really embarrassed to see you again. Okay. <laughs> see you later. Goodbye, Nancy. No worries, Hal. I just won't talk to you then. Super awkward. Hey, Nancy. Need something? Nope. See you later. Bye. Bye. Okay. The library. It's oh freaking Hulk. He probably doesn't want to talk to me. I'm not into pushy girls. Ugh. Do me a favor and bother someone else. Goodbye. Later. I hate you. Oh, I think I didn't do. I should probably save at some point. Let me go back and talk to Freaking Daryl, who I hate. Make sure I'm not missing that, and then... Hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. I already... regret this. Daryl, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm seeing someone else. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So, what's been going on? Well, your uncle isn't here, if that's who you're looking for. I saw? I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. Well, that's bad. Do you know why Connie broke your date to the Sadie Hawkins dance? No, it was really weird. But what was even weirder is that she took Jake instead of me. Uh -huh. Like I said, she's mysterious. Bye. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. Oh. It was on the counter when I got back from break. Oh, okay. I'm gonna die. Uh-huh. Uh. Hmm. Uh, that doesn't seem at all like a trap. Not one bit. Bye, Nancy. That says Dylan HVAC. Listen, I don't know who this HVAC guy is and why he's trying to actually murder me. But I'm gonna definitely get murdered if I go down there, right? Time to die. Time to die, Nancy. Bad. Bad. There's fire in here. Wow. Well, am I supposed to know what the code to that is? Is it 
Is it 1967? <gasps> well, okay. Good. Good. Um, still, still dying a fiery death. In, is it? It's too hot to reach. I've got gloves. I don't think that... I don't think the gloves... No, I don't think that's a problem. Is it 1967? Oh gosh, uh... It's to Yeah, it won't let me go down the ladder. Um, okay. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those. Okay, that one's gonna be up. No. Wait. I'm gonna burn to death down here. this? Who did, who did this thing? Ha! Ha ha! I'm crawling in the vent. <laughs> okay, I guess I left. I was probably locked down in there. Well, that was freaky. So that's on the mattress. So that's where I start. Okay. Did that? Yeah, let's not get murdered. Goodness. Okay, I'm gonna figure out this box if it kills me. Except, gotta get to the library. Which is a hidden mystery. Is that? Da, 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 da. Okay, so we're starting at. Here we go. This is gonna be a fun game. This symbol, and then I've got ooh, all the directions that I figured out earlier. So we are doing that one, which is. I hope that wasn't important. Alright, let's do... Okay, so I've got this. Maybe it stays down if it's the right one. Up two. One, two. Right one. Left three. One, two, three. Down two. Right one. Down one. Up one, two, three. Four. Left two. This is going great so far. <laughs> Down one, two, three. Right two, three, four. Down one. Left one, two, three. Up one, two. Right one, two, three. Up two. All right. Left one. Down two. Left three. Ooh. And I found a videotape, but there's somebody at my door. So I'll be back in just a second to see what that's about.
Hello. Again. Sorry about that, internet. Why isn't my game showing up? There it is. I had to answer the door because my groceries got delivered early. Yay for me. I <laughs> was successfully able to open this box and got a videotape. Did that. And I want to check everything off my list before I go and watch this tape. <laughs> it was. I wish they had the answer to this mystery. The uh, the music on the break screen. I we got it from uh, from Incomptech, where we get most of our um, most of our music because it's all royalty free uh, stuff that you can use. So big thank you, as always, to Kevin McLeod for making making fun good music that we can use for things. He never fails us. That's not what I want. I get excited and click too fast. Okay, so I've got the video. Ugh. Is this gonna tell me who murdered Jake? Please let me have solved the mystery. Turn the TV on first, apparently. Okay. This is the story of a student council president gone terribly bad. Uh-oh. Let's take a look at what kind of homework he's bringing home from daddy's top secret military industrial aerospace factory. But what does Daryl do with this stuff? He's too stupid to really know what it all means, but... He's not too stupid to know how much these industrial secrets are worth. You see, Daryl's selling out to our local air conditioning guy, Mitch Dillon. Not sure what a guy specializing like guy in the HVAC me. does with satellite schematics, telemetry encodings, and signature intelligence, but I'm sure whatever it is, it's not exactly legal. But it's probably worth a lot of money to Mitch to keep it quiet. Uh -oh. Breaking news, check it out. I found out who Mitch is selling Daryl's secrets to. This dude, can you imagine? This dorkoid is the ringleader of some kind of clearinghouse for military secrets. It's the cop! Mr. Clueless just forgot his journal full of important notes like contact numbers, system passwords, project code names, amounts paid, etc, etc. Guys! And some other stuff I don't understand. But I can tell that this guy will pay top dollar to get it back. Oh, he was but blackmailing case, a cop! But anything happen to me, I'm putting the journal in a safe place. I taped it underneath one of the book carts at the school, but I doubt he'll give me much trouble. Just a ton of cash. Jake, that's not super so if you safe. Find this video, Bro. Come look me up. I'll probably be long Bro. gone from Paseo del Mar and tanning my bod on my very own private island, retired at 17. Oh god, I do also hate you, Jake. Aunt Eloise? Oh no. Is that you? Oh no. something to make this work. No, I want to take the tape and make the sound stop. Oh, you guys. So the student council president was selling his dad's military secrets to a dirty cop who got blackmailed by this high school student. This cop murdered a kid. Y'all. Detective <gasps> Beach, I didn't expect you. Bad news, Nancy's about to die. Come by and see how you're doing. You seemed kind of in a hurry. Oh, Did you no. find the journal? Yes, I found your journal. My what? Uh, Jake's journal. I found Jake's journal. Good job, Nancy. No, you said my journal. You said that you found my journal. No, I didn't. Oh my gosh, Why this guy is a gun! Why don't the living room and have a nice chat about where my journal is, hmm? Oh, and why don't you <laughs> give me your cell phone? I'd hate to be interrupted during our little tete-a-tete. -tete. So, this Detective Beach, an undercover assignment, was just a ruse it to get you to turn. find your journal. You killed Jake, didn't you? Yeah, you did. Yes, I did con you into this undercover charade, and you just ate it up. I mean, you had the lingo, the self-important attitude. You're a real Snoopy Susie, aren't you? But as far as murder goes, no, that was my former partner. Mitch Dillon. Uh -oh. But stop with this delaying tactic, Detective Nancy. So Mitch Where's Dillon my used journal? to be a cop. And now he's doing HVAC. Oh, I should lie. Oh. It's, uh. It's in the entrance. Yep. In the credenza drawer. Oh, no. Wait. Hold on. So, did Jake try to blackmail you after he found your journal at the diner? Excellent deduction, my dear Drew. This guy's a That's bad why criminal. I sent Mitch after Jake. I told Don't you he was a bad cop. <laughs> Unfortunately for Jake and Mitch, 
The roughing up got a bit out of hand. I don't think the journal's here. I'm going to give you another chance. Tell me where my journal is. Okay. There's got to be a play here. And that play is... It's in the entrance behind the tapestry. What's the combination? Oh. I don't remember. But if I give him the right combination, it doesn't matter because it's not in there. But if I give him the wrong combination, I don't know what will happen. Because I put in the right combination earlier, but Aunt Eloise said that if I put in the wrong one, something bad would happen. Let's give him the wrong one, kids. Delta, 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 Delta. That's not it, Nancy. Let's give him... Twitch definitely, definitely capped you. Let's do the ones that I know Zeta are wrong. Moo, moo, pie. You're trying my patience, Detective Drew. What's the combination? I'm just gonna do nothing with Kappa in it, because you guys are saying... Same with my Kappa Delta. I would do the wrong ones. Hey! What the... Get me out of here, Nancy Drew! I'm sure the police will be... Happy and Eloise, why do you have that in your house? Bars. So long, Detective Beach. And hello, prisoner number 4321A. Dear Dad, case closed. Mitch Dillon and his boss, Whoa. formerly known as Detective Beach, are on their way to prison. The police still don't know his real identity, but his trade in top secret information has been stopped, thanks to Aunt Eloise's burglar proof safe. Yeah, Aunt Eloise, Darryl I'll call it burglar proof. Selling information about his father's military projects. Despite the damage to his first great enterprises, Daryl's father has forgiven him. Connie returned her trophy, but the judo club refused to take it and is opening their competitions to women next year. Well, that's good. Hulk agreed to pay for the damages to the pharmacy, and Hal has gotten his scholarships. Okay. And I'm headed to the beach, where the only that cover I'm going to go under is a beach blanket. See you soon, Nancy. Good job, Nancy. Aunt Eloise, your house is awesome. Oh, no. I forgot. So at the end of every Nancy Drew game, they ask you a <laughs> trivia question. <laughs> about the environment around you that y'all know I didn't pay attention to. Anybody know? The Memorial Library? Oh. Okay. We'll see. Answer the trivia question correctly. Good job. So I got two of all of these wonderful achievements. For reading every single book. Oh, I guess I didn't do the alarm enough. That's hilarious. Well, well, guys, we did it. Oh, this is a preview for the game that comes after this. So this is after the. Uh, I've always wanted to visit after Japan, the remastered version. From the exotic food and wild fashion in the cities to the nature and tradition in the smaller towns. I think I own this I one too. I know there's going to be a ton to see and do. As a thank you for all of my hard detective work, PG Crowmeister has reserved a room for me at one of the area's best ryokans, or traditional inns. It'll be nice to finally take a break from solving mysteries and to spend we to go a to few Japan weeks next without time, you guys. danger and dark secrets hiding around every corner. I've already heard that the ryokan I'm staying in has quite a reputation. I'm not sure exactly for what, though. Well, I'll find that out soon enough. Join me in my next adventure. I'm sorry. Shadow at the water's edge. I'm sorry, Nancy. <laughs> Would you like to tell me why the scary ghost girl from a uh, Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion was just in my game? <laughs> Am I haunted? Am I haunted by Ghost Mom? Okay. Well, now that I've had a heart attack, um, 
I did, that was a preview for one of the ones that I own and have not finished. Um, Shadow at the Water's Edge. So, I guess if you guys want to have a heckin' heart attack and figure out uh, what that was about, I could play that one next. I've got a whole bunch of these games in my library and for the most part, I've never finished them. Um, so, we did it. Thanks for all your help, everyone in the chat. That was great. Couldn't have done it without you. Very pleased with how that went. And in under three hours, we did that. That was amazing. Um, some of the later ones get longer and longer, obviously. And some of them are better than others. But if you guys had a good time, I would like to continue uh, sharing these with you guys because I thought that was really fun. So yeah, we did it. Let's go back to the Hi, room. I'm Nancy Drew. Yes. This is my- Shh. Stop talking. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think I will um, probably on Twitter and then also in Discord um, put up another poll to see which game we want to play next and hopefully we can continue to do these. I would put, and I know a couple people are probably going to ask about this, I would put um, I just almost said the words Merchant of Venice, and that's not a Nancy Drew game, that's a Shakespeare play, that's something very different. Um, what I mean is Phantom of Venice on that for the poll, but I just wasn't enjoying that one as much. I want to finish it at some point, and I want to hype myself up to finish it, but I just, that card game was just driving me up the wall, you guys. So at some point, we'll, we'll finish Phantom of Venice. Um, it wasn't my favorite one, but I do want to see how it ends. Um, but I've got some other ones like Shadow at the Water's Edge and then some of the older ones that I also want to play. Um, so I'll pull a couple and let you guys vote on which one we play uh, We play next time. And then, yeah, I see the mention in the chat. Um, we should get some Hardy Boys up in here as well uh, with, our, with our Hardy Boys from GGK. So we'll try to do that as well. Um, so thanks everybody for hanging out. Um, we do have another stream coming up tonight because it is Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. So tonight at seven o'clock PM. So just a few hours from now, um, we have another fun, fun masks game. We're gonna be streaming another episode of Wonder World Origins. So come hang out, come see some superheroes, come have a really, really good time. And uh, We'll do more announcements then, because I can't think of any more right now. But thanks for playing, everybody. We'll do another one of these really soon when I have some more time during the day free. And uh, until then, good game and see you soon, Internet.